hello team and welcome back to the channel so before starting the video a small request to you people please subscribe to the channel we are very close to 1000 subscribers also i upload videos on daily basis okay and it takes lot of time to make these hands on videos okay okay now coming to today's topic so today what we are going to do is create a end to end complete ci cd pipeline but uh, you might be thinking like previously also we have created but this time what's the difference okay so previously we just created one job inside which we had multiple stages with ci uh, stages as well as the cd stages okay so same like uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment we were doing from the single uh, jenkins job this time what we are going to do is create two jobs one uh, job will be ci pipeline that will be containing all the like uh, building of the application then performing different uh, code quality check uh, then uh, like security scanning on the source code okay then using docker we will be creating docker image okay then once this pipeline like complete successfully then automatically our other cd pipeline will be uh, triggered okay that means it will be started automatically and once it does then using docker container our application will be deployed and once it is uh, that application is successfully deployed then we can access the application in the browser okay so this is what we are going to do from scratch also if you are new to jenkins you can just check out my jenkins complete course i have covered every topic that you need okay one more thing that i want to let you know that since we are going to use a full fledged application that will be having a front end back end as well as a s2 database so i would really request you to follow me on github as well because if you do then you will be notified every time i add a new repository okay so basically my my this uh, github account it contains lots of deployment ready repositories which you can use to do your own poc okay all of them as of now is public but if you follow me then you will be notified immediately i add any new repository or create a new repository okay okay team so i have set up jenkins on port 8080 on the vm and as of now i have not done anything okay okay so before starting the job what i will do i will configure and install some of the plugins which we are going to use okay so for that we can go to manage plugins then plugin manager and go to available plugins and first of all search for jdk because we are going to use any specific jdk like jdk 11 so we will select this one as well as this one click on install without restart and the progress you can track here okay meanwhile the plugin is getting downloaded uh, we can go back and search for the other plugin which is sonar cube scanner and this will basically this plugin will be used to perform code quality check analysis on our source code okay so we will install this as well okay so meanwhile this is getting installed let me create a container for sonar cube one second yeah okay so for creating a container on sonar cube for sonar cube we can run the docker command which is docker run then hyphen d for in running in detached mode then port 9000 i will keep so that we our application will be accessible on 9000 okay and the image that we are going to use is sonar cube colon lts community version okay and this should create the sonar cube uh, server you can see it is starting yeah so let it be meanwhile we will go back and start creating our pipeline okay so first of all we will create a ci pipeline so let's provide a name as ci pipeline and type we will select as pipeline click on okay okay and as usual i have always said use this option discard old builds and keep the maximum number to 2 okay then scroll down and let's create a template pipeline okay let me make it little bit bigger yeah so here we are first step in our pipeline will be git checkout okay and here to write the script for copying the source code of gitlab sorry github we will use pipeline syntax and in here we will need to search for git this option select that and here we need to provide the repository url so let's say i want to use this shopping cart because this applic uh, this application is having front end back end as well as h2 database okay so this is like a full fledged application which we will use here we will provide the uh, uh, url repository url and branch so in my case branch name is main 
and no credential is required because the repository is public click enter and then we will copy the uh, url uh, sorry copy the script and paste it here okay so first stage is completed next step uh, i want to run i want to like run is uh, compile the source code okay so what i will do i will just copy this one paste it and make uh, changes in here so i want to do is compile okay okay so we are going to compile using maven so as i also uh, mentioned always that uh, when we are going to use any tool in our pipeline we need to define it okay so before defining basically we need to configure maven so we will go to global tool configuration two things here we are going to do first of all we will do, uh, like set up a jdk so let's provide the name as jdk 11 i'm going to use jdk 11 click on install automatically and just now we as you saw we installed a jdk plugin that is why this option is visible install from adoptium.net okay and here we will select jdk 11 scroll down again and this plugin also we have installed so let's configure it as well and name we will provide sonar dash scanner latest version we want okay scroll down and here you can see maven is present okay so maven i want to use 3.6 so i will provide the name as maven 3 and version let's select 3.6.0 and click apply okay now we have configured all of our tools that we are going to use and here uh, yeah so maven also we have configured jdk also we have configured now we need to define them here which will we will be doing using tools okay uh, curly braces format is uh, tool type so first tool type is jdk space colon a uh, name we have provided as jdk 11 and here uh, yeah enter and next tool we have maven tool type is maven tool name is maven 3 which we have just configured okay so this is done and here we can provide the step uh, stage uh, steps as sh sh is for shell commands and inside shell we will write the command as maven clean compile okay spelling is correct great so two stages completed let's add three stage okay make sure like uh, you are also understanding it properly if you have any issues or, or questions you can just directly ask okay here we are see here we were missing one uh, com uh, this uh, yeah this one now it's good okay so here we need to provide double quotes to close this okay okay so next step uh, that we are going to add is the sonar cube analysis if uh, let me add uh, yeah stage we have added let's provide a name as mm -mm, sonar cube analysis okay and we will close it in this okay so to do, 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 what else what else yeah we have we have been missing this one also okay so next what we need to do is uh, like to access our sonar cube server we you just saw like i created using docker which so our sonar cube server is running on port 9000 so we will copy the ip address of the vm and to access the sonar cube we will paste the ip address colon 9000 click enter and you can see sonar cube it has set up so we will log in by default the password username password is admin admin okay but since if you, if you are doing it for the first time you need to like change it you can see here update your password so let's update to something else okay yeah click update okay so this is the sonar cube dashboard and here we need to do two things first of all like we need to have the url and the authentication token okay okay so also like since uh, sonar cube is a different tool okay so what we are going to do is uh, we will define the sonar cube tool okay sonar cube scanner tool which we have configured uh, like few minutes ago okay so he we are basically we need to uh, like create an environment okay so we'll provide the keyword as environment curly braces inside it we will provide a scanner home okay scanner underscore home equal to uh, tool tool name which we have configured is sonar dash scanner okay okay so this is also okay double a single quotes missing okay so this is done okay next what we need to do is uh, run the analysis from here so since we are going to have like multi-line code 
so we will use three quotes okay like this and here we will call our uh, executable sonar scanner in this format scanner underscore home slash bin slash sonar dash scanner okay okay next we need to provide certain arguments so first argument will be d sonar dot url so url we, uh, we need to provide the url of our sonar cube server which is this one till 9000 and paste it here okay space then again uh, we need to provide the authentication token for like uh, connect uh, for the connection to be uh, like made between jenkins to sonar cube okay so again another argument we are going to use is d sonar dot login inside login we need to provide the token token we can generate inside sonar cube we need to go to sonar cube server page go to administration go to security users then here click on tokens okay provide any name just uh, provide temporary as one click on generate and token you can see this is the token okay so we will copy this and we are going to paste it here okay great one second i am missing something or what okay okay sorry yeah hmm okay so token we have added now we need to provide the project name that is going to be created inside sonar cube so for that also we have argument which is the sonar dot project name okay name i want to provide as shopping dash cart and for going to next line we will provide a slash click enter and next uh, next uh, argument we need to add which is d sonar dot java dot binary basically we are we need to provide the path of a binaries file okay so i will just provide it dot because uh, that that means like it is uh, the path is on root directory okay then click enter and one last uh, uh, argument is dsonar dot project key okay so for project key i will keep the name as name to same as the name that we provided for the project name copy this and we will paste it here and to close the this one we will provide three this one okay three uh, commas done and i think uh, we are good to go mm -mm -mm. okay yeah so click on apply and just to check that everything running fine we can trigger this pipeline click build now and it should start here okay great so you can see it has started and since we are installing sonar scanner and jdk these and maven as well for the first time so you can see basically it is installing it now unpacking so this might take a little bit of time okay meanwhile this is running what we can do is configure our next stages okay because i really don't want to waste any time okay so we can open the job in new page and here we can start configuring our next stages okay so for next stage what we have is uh, two things we are going to do first is to do another security analysis on our uh, source code using OWASP dependency check okay so to install it we can go to manage Jenkins then go to manage plugins and here in available plugins we can search for OWASP okay so this is the one that we need to install click on it click on install without restart Meanwhile, one more thing we will install is Docker because we are going to have uh, certain Docker stages as well. Okay, so select this one, then Docker pipeline, then Docker build step, and this one. Okay, click on install without restart and progress we can track here. You can see OS dependency check is installed. So let's configure that. We will go to global tool configuration. I hope you remember that I have always told configure system is the place where we configure servers and global tool configuration is the place where we configure tools so we will open it and scroll down to dependency check you can see here dependency check option visible now so here we will provide the name as dp and click on install automatically and here the version that we are going to use is 6.5.1 which is the one i usually go with and click on apply okay so now this one we have configured meanwhile yeah here also you can see our pipeline just got success and if i click on the job you can see here three stages as of now we have added to see the uh, project created in sonar cube you can see here it got the our source code is having 25 bucks 
six codes mills and total number of lines that were scanned is 1.1k okay so the, basically the like sonar cube will help you to get uh, to find out like uh, issues with your source code okay you can see here details great okay so now adding the next stage which is for uh, os dependency check so we will copy a like copy the stage and paste it here okay now let's uh, modify it a little bit so here we need to provide the security scanning stage name as wasp uh, scan in case you are wondering like why i like, always like uh, tell you to use these stages uh, use these uh, stages in your pipeline like sonar cube analysis wasp scan because these are like security tools which make sure that your pipeline is good as well as like the pro the process of devops that you are following is having less number of uh, like issues and all okay so these are like security tools just now i just showed you for sonar cube how it helps you to find out any bugs that your source code contains similarly OASIP scan what it does it will find out if there is any uh, known commonly known vulnerabilities in your source code okay okay so basically OASIP scan has in its own format of uh, like uh, step so which i have written you can also like just uh, note it down somewhere uh, okay so let's paste it here and let me explain it to you what the stage means okay okay so first we have dependency check additional arguments here we need to provide certain argument for example if i provide scan it means uh, this is an argument which which basically uh, see after scan whatever path i provide that whole path will be scanned using this uh, tool okay and yeah and then we have odc installation so basically this is the name of tool that we configure just now as you saw i configured named as dp and last argument that we have is dependency check publisher pattern so this is the normal format of the report in which it the report will be generated as you can see general format is dependency dash check dash report dot xml okay okay so this stage is also con uh, configured next we will add another stage which is the main stage as like we are going to build the application now okay so we will provide the name as build application and the commands that we need to use is of maven commands so for running the maven we will use shell enclosure double quotes and here we run the command as maven clean install okay great okay so this is done meanwhile let me just add the one last stage which is the docker build and push okay so for that also again again we will i will copy this and paste it here and now we are going to edit it okay so for editing i will provide the name of this stage as build uh, build and push docker uh, 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 image right yeah let me correct this okay now for running docker commands basically we need to enclose our uh, uh, commands in sh uh, script okay which will be in this format script curly braces and inside this we need to enclose okay now again if i go to global tool configuration refresh it we should be having docker because we just in recently installed plugins also for docker here let's select the name as simply docker and click on install automatically select the uh, like uh, download uh, place is from the official page which is docker.com and we want to use the latest one okay click on apply and this is done next what we need to do is uh, use pipeline syntax to generate a little bit of a code of docker okay here uh, if i expand this scroll down you will see with docker registry okay so click on it and here uh, since we are going to use a public docker hub registry we don't need to provide url for registry credential as of now i have not added but to add it you can click on add click on jenkins and here provide the username password for your docker registry okay so for me username is this one and password is this one scroll down in description i can provide the name as docker cred and that's done click on add and it will be added now we can select it docker installation we just configured now click on generate pipeline script okay and copy let's copy this and we will go to here inside script we need to paste it here right seems very easy but when you start doing then it seems kind of hard because you need to remember everything okay now the commands that we need to write so command that we need to write again we will write it in shell 
double kits or uh, double quotes now first we will build the docker image the command will be docker build hyphen t shopping and colon and let's say i just want the name as the latest then we need to provide the path of the docker file which is inside the folder named docker okay and yeah now this will build the docker image and i think we have all we are already tagging it as well okay so one more time we need to tag it because uh, we need to provide the format that could be used for pushing the docker image okay so again for tagging we can run the command as uh, docker tag uh, 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 docker tag then old image name is shopping uh, colon latest new image name will be the format username that in my case username is Adi Jaiswal slash then the uh, new image name which will be shopping latest okay so we have tagged and next final command that we need to write is uh, 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 which is to docker push okay and new image name that we can see here is this one so copy this and paste it here great Okay, so this is like complete CI pipeline and we will create a separate pipeline for CD. Click on apply. Click on build now. Okay. So meanwhile, you can see the progress here. Yeah. So you can see progress uh, like the pipeline has started and it will take a little bit of time to be completed. Okay. So meanwhile, it is getting completed. We can create our CD pipeline. Okay. So again, we will go to new item and here let's provide a name as cd underscore pipeline click on pipeline click ok and as usual discard old bits the maximum number of build i want to keep in history is two scroll down and here uh, a template we took okay and here we want to run the uh, provide the stage name as docker deploy so we are going to deploy our application using docker container so let's provide the name as docker deploy to container okay and here we need to provide the docker commands and as i mentioned before also we need to like run our docker command inside a script so script format is this one okay again we will use pipeline syntax to generate this one it is already generated we will just copy this and let's paste it inside the script Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. A search shell commands we are going to run. Command is docker run hyphen d. Okay, maybe yeah. See uh, what was the name? Let me just see here. If I go to CI pipeline. Okay, it is still it is still going on. Let me just copy the image name because we will be needing it uh, configure and here here yeah image name is this one great copy this one and yeah docker run hyphen d and name of the container that i want to provide is uh, let's say shopping shopping dash cart port i want to run on 8070 colon 8070 then space then the image name okay oh my god yeah okay so this is the deployment command like this will basically create a container of docker and will like start the application inside that okay now okay so if i go back to ci pipeline it is still running see wasp scan basically if you are running it for the first time it needs to download multiple like databases which contains the information about several like uh, uh, vulnerabilities, commonly known vulnerabilities. Okay, so you can see it started downloading till since 2002 year, and it will download till 2003. Okay, okay, so I think it, the analysis has started. So we will wait for a few seconds. Once it once it completes, what we need to do is uh, create a trigger sort of thing inside our CI pipeline which will start the as soon as the ci pipeline completes it will automatically start this 
CD pipeline. Okay, so let's yeah. I think we have already saved the CD pipeline, and as you can see, there is no not a single build as of now. Okay, so meanwhile it is running. This CI pipeline is running. What I will do? I will create add the stage. Okay. So how I'm going to do that is simply copy any stage, scroll down and here one last stage we will add. Okay. Here we will provide the name as trigger CD pipeline. Okay. And here we need to provide the okay in steps we need to provide uh, we need to write a command as build space job colon in double quotes we need to provide the name of the job so name of the job is this one which we want to trigger here mm, wait colon two yeah so this is done i think they should do the task meanwhile let's just monitor our ci pipeline okay it failed no issues we will try to fix it build application some issues there and to check the issue issue always like start from the like downside okay okay so like testing a testing error no issues see in case if your like your application is facing some uh, test if test cases are failing to like skip the test cases you can add one argument which goes like d uh, d skip tests equal to true okay now if i run this it will basically skip the test cases and it will like continue our build no issues so yeah actually this time it won't be this os scan stage it won't be taking much time because it has already downloaded all the databases required okay so that uh, let's monitor one last time you can see sonar cube st stage is running now and, 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 and yeah it is successful now wasp scan is running which will take i think few seconds maximum like 30 seconds i guess but let's see yeah nine seconds completed now build application so this time it should not fail i guess because we have already skipped the test cases mm, still monitor yeah so you can see like uh, where it is yeah build is success now for the uh, like maven build command because we have skipped the test cases okay 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 some issue is with the credentials sometimes it becomes really irritating but uh, what can we do okay so let's confirm okay let me just open the docker hub just to make sure that credentials that i'm providing is correct one so we will log into docker hub for that we can click on sign in and come 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 yeah so here we need to provide the username first and click on continue password okay 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 i think password is correct maybe we might have mistaken it little bit no issues we can correct it see if in case like you want to correct uh, any credentials or update the credentials you can go to manage jenkins scroll down to credentials and here you can see credential is visible we can click on it click on update let's just correct it okay here username i think we have i have provided wrong very bad j a i now let me write it from the start yeah, okay let me just confirm for the password as well see this is what happens when you do things very fastly okay so i think now let me just do it one more time so it's it now it should be fine okay so ci pipeline will will be we can start it again you can see as of now like uh, this is uh, our our this cd job let me open the cd job as well let me yeah cd 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 sorry sorry cd yeah see you can see as of now there is no build because cd pipeline has not yet started yeah so ci pipeline started again and let's see what happens now <sighs> ok 
okay let's see the logs in detail here yeah maven clean install that is success now login see you can see here clearly login got succeeded now because credential we have corrected and it is it started building the docker image and it has tagged also and now it is pushing i guess image also so okay still pushing okay so it pushed and you can see scheduling project okay so this will be in progress until this uh, you see here cd pipeline now started if i open this you can see the progress here and here it was able to create the docker container and if i go here now the uh, ci pipeline is success now correct okay now to access the application what we can do is copy the ip address paste it here and paste 8070 which is the port of our yeah you can see application is deployed and this feels really good so let's provide the details admin admin click on login and one second login okay great so you can see application is up and running now accessible we can add items into the cart and it is like running fine now so everything deployed successfully so i hope you got the point what i was trying to tell you is that we can like simply go ahead and like keep cd pipeline and ci pipeline separately the reason for that is that every time if we like make changes in our cf ci pipeline then quickly like deployment will be updated but sometimes let's say that i just want to run the deployment part okay so for that what can i do i can simply run the cd pipeline right so it is like completely under our control